Boom! What's up internet, Josh Miles here, and today we are talking about the power of surprise and delight. Your 59 Second Friday is up next. Welcome back friends, it is good to see you all. I have been traveling all week and imagine my surprise and delight when I walked into my hotel to check in today and they said, Mr. Miles, you have been upgraded, complimentary. Here's your key, thanks for staying with us. Now I am at the Quirk in Richmond, Virginia, which I had so many people when I told them I was going to Richmond for a speaking gig say, you have got to stay at the Quirk. And I would say, well, what is it about it? And they would say, well, it's just different. I think you'll like it. And so I booked the Quirk. I booked it a little bit in advance. I don't know if that has anything to do with getting the special upgrade. But my question to you is, what's a thing that you could do that would surprise and delight your audience, your customers, your clients? What is just a little thing that you could do that you already have lying around? They already had this room, nobody else was staying in it. And so it was an amazing perk for me to receive this room. Now, I'm gonna show you a little bit about it, but guess what? If they had just given me a regular run-of-the-mill room, what are the chances that I would have made a video about their room and posted it on YouTube? So let's take a little tour. While we're doing that, I want you to think about the things that you have at your own disposable that you could offer somebody else. So this is, as you may have noticed, there's a little, little apartment down there. There's a little sitting room we were in. And this is the bedroom upstairs. And a little desk. And then of course, there's all the changing areas. And then even this super smoky bathroom. So what can you do to surprise and delight your audience, your clients, and your customers? Think about that and tell me in the comments below what's one easy thing that you can do or have done in the past to surprise and delight. So friends, comment down below and tell me what's one little thing that you could do to surprise and delight your clients, your customers, or your audience. For those of you who are not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified. We post 59 Second Friday every Friday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.